Eis chayim hi, lemachazit imba, v'tomcheha, meushar, tirachcheha, dachhe noam, v'chon etzibotcheha, shalom. Shalom. I have a guest with me this uh, week, Jillian Hansen, who will be called to the Torah this Shabbat, and we're going to celebrate her becoming a bat mitzvah. Now, we are going to take uh, one of the Torahs out of the Ark on Shabbat morning, and Jillian is going to read from this week's Torah portion, Bishalach, which is sometimes uh, called uh, Shirat Hayam, the Song of the Sea. Now, I know you, you've been working very hard on your Devar Torah, your Torah speech, and what, what precisely are you going to be talking about this Shabbat? It's mostly about miracles and the existence of miracles, what is a miracle, and if there are even miracles at all. Hmm. How would you define a miracle? Well, I think God is all around us every day, and, and he intervenes when he needs to, like when he sees that you can't get out of a situation or it's just not going to happen what he wants to happen. He'll work at like changing that effect. Mm -hmm. He's all around us and he'll do what he needs to. You know, some people define a miracle by, uh, by saying it's a, um, it's a deviation from the laws of nature. That normally things run along a uh, on a certain course, that there are laws of nature uh, that are not violated usually, but once in a while there is a, there is a, a breaking away from those from uh, from a, from one of those rules, and that's what a, a miracle is about. Um, I, I, this was a problem for some of the uh, some of the medieval Jewish commentators, and I know you looked at one of them, uh, Maimonides, who seems to have believed in the laws of nature, and yet he also believed that somehow God intervened when our people um, was trying to cross the Red Sea by splitting the Red Sea. What did Maimonides say about this? And Maimonides thought God was perfect, so God, he, he believed that God, in the beginning of time and creation, he'd already known this was going to happen, so maybe he asked the, God, the angel of the sea to protect the Israelites if they should come to the waters in time of need or just do anything in advance so that it wasn't an accident. He already knew about it and he was taking care of it. So this was built into the design from the very beginning of time when God created the universe. Maybe God accomplished that miracle um, through natural means, maybe the wind blowing in a certain way, but nonetheless, it was designed by God to happen at that moment, is what, is what Maimonides uh, said. Very interesting. Now, I know that you looked at a, a quote by the 20th century physicist, Albert Einstein, and I think he had something interesting to say. What, what was it? He said that the absence of miracles proves the existence of God, that things always work so perfectly that Water always flows down a mountain. Gravity, pi, all, pi r square always works. It just always works because God is perfect. That's a miracle. That's miraculous. That is perfect. So everything works out like it's supposed to. There's no glitches. You know, I, I like that word that you used a moment ago, miraculous. Was it a miracle? You know, it depends on whose definition of, of a miracle. But it was miraculous. Maybe... Um, Maybe all of this, in a sense, is a miracle. Uh, may, at least it's miraculous. And we look out at, at uh, the history of the Jewish people, and we look out at, uh, at, at uh, the world and the universe, and we say, this is at least miraculous. Well, you are going to give a wonderful Devar Torah on Shabbat morning. And we're very proud of you, Jillian. Uh, so proud of what you've accomplished up to this time, and uh, we're so proud of you in advance for all of the, the great mitzvot that you will do during your life. We're all uh, invited 
uh, to Jillian's service, which is at 10.30 here at Temple Bethel in Hollywood, Florida. And if you like, you can come to our Torah class at 9.30 a.m. on Shabbat morning. Uh, so, until next week, Shabbat Shalom. Let's go.